Alright guys, so a new build of Windows 10 has been released for Insiders. This is build 11102. Um, there are 1,200 changes between this and the last build, and all of them are completely on scene. They are underneath inside the layers of the operating system. Uh, import improvement performances and things like that. And for those who are asking who this is, this is Regal. She's a suicide girl. I just like to remove the freaking logo because I can see that. And this is by far definitely one of her best photo shoots. The rain, everything is perfect. And right now, I just finished installing it for the second time. And um, the reason why I'm installing it for the second time is because I had to test a bug. Now, for you NVIDIA users, you may not want to use this build because there are issues with your graphics stack. That's the thing that uses your graphics or whatever. And the bug is that your games will not run. Uh, when you try to switch from full screen to window mode, the games will crash. And that is an issue that doesn't exist right now on the AMD side. So there's that. And I am just setting some things up in the other window right now. Going to gmail.com, trying to get my um, Steam unlocked so I can get in and start installing my stuff. And the bug is minor. I usually play in windowed full screen mode anyway, so there's no need to alt tab out. And um, this is definitely a great build so far snappy as fuck no kidding and my steam is now unlocked hip hip hooray stop staring at her tits I know you guys are and invited to a steam group that I'll never join so if you guys are going to be testing this build just remember NVIDIA users you're going to have a crash bug okay it doesn't exist on the AMD side I already tried it um, with The Witcher 3 and uh, Fallout 4 and a few other games. And I actually have to go install a few things here now that I'm thinking about it because most games won't work if I don't. And gaming. Res Administrator. Yes, I agree. All of these are extremely important to install. And I know there's a lot of them, isn't there? You want to install these first. Uh, both 64 bit and uh, 32 bit. Because some games use 32 bit uh, DDL versions. And this is 2005, I think. No, nope, it's actually 2010. I'm not used to the order anymore, I guess. So, this is the setup process I go through every time. Uh, that a new insider build comes out, and it's not really that much of a problem. I used all of this, I've pretty much installed using Nine Eye, you know? So I didn't really go through much of anything. And my major programs, like Maya and all that, I have them backed up. The installers are there, they take seconds to install on the SSD. Let me install this here quick, that's done. And this is a new important one, the 2016-15 uh, module. I'm not sure if there's a 2016 uh, one yet, but if there is, I will add it to my collection of madness. And that one's already installed because I am recording on OBS, of course. So we have that done. All right, so this is going to take a few minutes to download. And... Uh, <coughs> While I'm doing that, I gotta log in to my Apple Music real quick as well. Um, this is the first time I did not install the Catalyst Control Center, or as they call it, Crimson. And uh, that is new for me. But I'm gonna see if it gives maybe a little boost in memory to not do so. And if it does, well, I don't really use it anyway. The only time I ever use it is to 
uh, activate fluid motion to have 60 FPS videos when I'm watching movies. Trust me, there is nothing like watching 1080p videos and 60 FPS. It's beautiful. Everything looks ultra realistic. It's pretty epic. Yeah, I know. I have authorized many computers. I uh, stopped authorizing computers, actually. So everything should hopefully jump into place in a second. Unless I did not enable cloud music. I totally did, didn't I? Radio. Okay, there's my radio station. Alright, so I've got iTunes set up. I got Steam set up. I got Google Chrome set up. What is left? Right, I have to go down my download section here. Um, MSI Afterburner. MSI Afterburner. This is a big one for me. It's what gets me that proper cooling for my graphic card. Got to set up that fan curve, you know. Fuck you, River Tuner. All right, so come on, that's it. There you go. Now, another reason why I did not install uh, the Crimson settings is because of MSI Afterburner. I like Crimson. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of good options. It controls my iFinity, but I don't want to use iFinity right now. I have a well, screen over here, a screen over here. <coughs> User interface, we are going to go with this one. And the fan control. That is fan speed. So instead, we'll go like this. And I don't want that, so I'm actually deleting that one. I'm deleting that one, and we're just gonna pop. And pop. So that's what I do. Four span update, thousand milliseconds. And that's the main reason why I do it. Now you can always change that to Fahrenheit, but Fahrenheit's outdated and shouldn't be used by anyone at this point. So we're gonna start with Windows and unlock voltage control. Force consistent voltage, don't do that. I decided not to do that anymore. Yes. So there we go. That's all I need. And I've installed everything for gaming. I've installed everything for recording, for cooling, and now I just have to install ZBrush. Uh, Maya. The suit, to be honest. And that's how. Um, 14 freaking gigs, believe it or not. Uh, this one. This one. Launcher. What was happening there? An app default was reset. Searching for display drive verifier. Clear all. Uh, engine binaries. Start this one. This means I never need to install the Epic Games Launcher. I just log in.
and it will automatically ask me if I want to install it to the desktop uh, with an icon and it will automatically know where it's installed and do all that fun stuff. Right there, see? Install engine. Oh, new version came out. Well, that's good. I'm going to let that install. And that's the end of this video, guys. So thank you for watching. Uh, this thing's going to install a ton of mods after it's done downloading in 2 minutes and 50 some odd seconds. And for Maya, ZBrush, IR, 3DS Max, Mudbox, and a whole bunch of other stuff, I'm going to do that in a minute. I have a script for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and uh, see you in the next video, okay? Bye.